we had a request to do some multiple choice and I didn't put it down, but this is fall 19 test three, part one. Part one, not part two. Ooh. All right. Okay. Uh, which base would give the observed result in step one? Uh, if you looked at the last six exams, these are the same answers every time, and that's not changing. Uh, oh, potassium hydroxide will not give any product at all. You get zero if you use hydroxide as a base for a terminal alkyne. Uh, guys, the answer you need is based on the fact that you're going from 25 to 35, and somebody saw that. 25 is acetylene. That's black for choice. PKA 25 for acetylene. Whatever the other product is, PKA 35. That's how you get a PKEQ of 10 to the 10, or KEQ, because PKEQ is negative 10. Uh, and H, H2 is the other product. Therefore, hydride is the base. And I did go to black again, unfortunately. You can just say like 25 minus what equals negative 10. Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah. 25 minus something gives negative 10. And that something has to be this because that's the only one with a PK of 35. So H minus, which product, which choice has hydride in it? The last one. Pretty much the only guarantee is that won't be yours because it's the one I told you to study and I told you that I've uh, this question is the exact same every time, the same six answers, it won't be that answer. So you got it narrowed down to five, congratulations. Okay, what is product one? Ah, well, we gotta figure out what we have. We have potassium acetylide. Oh, it's going to be uh, acetylene, yes. It's going to be acetylide, yes. It's going to be a different group in step two. It's going to be a different group in step three and a different group in step four. But the idea is exactly the same. So potassium acetylide is reacting with isohexyl bromide. Br, five carbons in a row. One, two, three, four, five with a V off the end. And you're just drawing the result. Backside attack, leaving group leaves. Mechanism free of charge. New bond, very exciting. Five in a row, two, three, four, five, B. Number it and name it. Yeah, the numbering and naming is the nuisance in this series of questions, isn't it? Six methyl one heptine. A, good. There is product one, prod one. PKEQ and step three. Step three, you're taking prod one, which has a PKA of 25, terminal alkyne, reacting it with step three, vinyl potassium. You're saying, I don't know what vinyl potassium is. You will have these same six answers on your exam with names included. So please pay attention to the name. You're being told to use a different one. You're saying you're using vinyl potassium. Vinyl potassium. Oh, there it is. <laughs> and it's H C double, not triple, H C double C minus becoming H. Wow, I can't draw at all. No paint can. Slow down. Vinyl potassium. H C double bond C H2. It's the one that I drew in the question. Right here. That one. C H double bond C H2. Bingo. Becomes H2 C double C H2. PKA equals 45. And uh, your terminal alkyne is now anion. And it's got that exciting new bond, five carbon, two, three, five, boom. 
one, two, three, four, five, yeah. And PKEQ, 25 minus 45. Mm -hmm. 10 to the negative of the answer, 10 to the 20. Oh, we only wanted PKEQ, we had the answer. I just do that by habit to work out KEQ. But the question could ask KEQ, no big deal, right? I want the answer is negative 20, I got it. I'm sorry? On the key it says negative 25. <gasps> He's wrong. Typo on key. I'm putting it here. It's an official announcement. I'm taking your word for it. Typo on key. I did the work right, correct? Uh, step three takes a product one, which is a terminal alkyne, PK25. No disagreements there. Vinyl potassium is this base, which becomes alkene with this PKA. So, yeah, we got a boo boo on the key. BC is correct. 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 There we are. What is product two? Okay. We're taking all oh, the synthesis step is next. Hey, product two is coming up when we react. This anion. With R2 chloropentane. R2 chloropentane. R2 chloropentane. You get this result here. Backside attack on an R stereo center. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, gives what kind of stereo center? Comes S. And whatever it takes to be S. Just write S. How's that? You don't have to draw it. This question is not about drawing. R, backside attack, gives S. Learn that. It's quite important. Can I see the backside mechanism? No. Uh, so we got all the R choices. Uh, we're crossing them out. All the R choices were crossing them. R's gone, R's gone. R's gone, R's gone, R's gone. And do nomenclature one, two, three. R2 chloro pentane. Good. One, two, three, four, five. Got it. Longest chain alkyne, lowest number. Light pink. Mm. Two, three. Did you count it already? You got 11, yeah. six, seven, eight. So we got it down to just the undecanes. Now there's, there's only one, there's two. Yeah, and we need four and 10, so the methyl's not four and nine. Yay, AB. Yeah, these are a lot of work, aren't they? Yeah, they are. They're annoying, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sorry. But they really, they, they got a lot of depth. Mm -hmm. Product three, wow. Well, we have the name for product three. Uh, guess what all the names end with when you're done? Mm, just look at them. Een, oh, I bet we're making an een. Product three. Uh, yeah, which een do you get when you do sodium and ammonia with the radical? Yeah, H is on opposite sides in this one, remember? Yeah, so get rid of, get rid of all the Zs. So I need the same name, uh, same name. This is going to be Ean and add a Z in front. You got it yet? Because I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm going to put Ean, I'm going to put a Z, and everything else looks just like this. Which one is it? B E, she's good. D E, D E. Yeah, and I noticed I didn't change this D to a new letter. <laughs> Nobody mentioned that. But it didn't matter, did it? There we go. There's your arrow. There's your sodium and ammonia. If it ever lets me write again. I'm waiting. 
da 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 There you go. And we got more multiple choice from the same test. During the mechanism in step five, there are two S base reactions. Mm. Yeah. With the same P K E Q. Can we go back to the mechanism? Because we did this one already. Forty goes to forty-five. There, here's the work for this question. It doesn't matter if it's a different molecule. Uh, this is another forty. This is another forty going to forty-five. So the, the words that in the question PKA forty-five. It happens the same reaction twice, right? And 40 minus 45 is negative 5. If it was a KEQ question, 10 to the positive 5, which it is right there. C mech. Page 3. Uh, what are products for? Products for. That's pretty bad English there, isn't it? Products four, it's ozonolysis, because I got ozone and yeah. Uh, yeah, product, we better have product three. Do we have it from our previous page? Product three, we have its name. I got a quick way to make this product three, hopefully. What is it? Yeah, we got a question there. Uh, I'm just gonna do the rear. Product four, there's the molecule that is going to make product four. Uh, product four. Uh, where's our product four? Uh, that's not the molecule. It was double bond, right? And was it E or Z when I copied it? It doesn't matter for this next question, but I, I, I just want the right one. E. So you draw your H's. Doesn't have to be pretty, right? There. And then you do your uh, O3. Make sure you got five. One, two, three, four, five. What is that? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So uh, there, one of them's a ketone. Which one? I'm sorry. Mm, that H goes away during. Oh, we're here. Oh. Dr. Whitaker, you lost both these carbons. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got messed up by my own color coding. Trying to help you sometimes hurts me. I know that makes no sense. Okay, and then the double bond, I'll do it in green. To the new O in black. I think that's it, right? I got the two red bonds. They're not getting cut. I didn't show the H's, but you're not you're not upset. You want me to put the H's back? There. There's one of the H's. Here's the other H. Hey. They're both Al, like she said. Maybe if I'd have done this, I wouldn't have made that same mistake. There's your cut, right? There's that carbon there, right? <laughs> yeah, there it is. One's a one, two, three, four, five carbon aldehyde with a methyl on two. Which name, which Roman numeral is that? Five carbon aldehyde, methyl on two. It's the first one. It's the first one. Put a check mark on it. Uh, or just put an I here, huh? How about uh, six carbons in a row? One, two, three, four, five, six with a methyl on five. So six carbon aldehyde is hexanol with a methyl on five. That's a V. I and V. 
And that's choice D. Yours is very much like this. It only has four Roman numerals. And you pick two out of those four, the two that form. Oh, I gave a clue that that's one of the questions. <laughs> Which of the following steps? Is, I, I didn't like, I'm, I'm just going to say right out, I, I don't like that question. It's like, it's a it's an important fact, but it's it's ephemera. It's, it's like, and <laughs> so you can keep track of inconsequential things. Great. What is the correct assignment of stereo centers for the dial formed in step eight and nine? Great question. I'll just tell you, it didn't show up on your test, but it's a great question. Shall I answer it or no? She likes it. I guess oh, she's a good student. She wants me to answer it anyway. All right. Uh, step eight and nine. Step eight and nine. So you're going to get a die all from the EL team from here. This one, right? So we're going to do the O03 and two step six and seven. S, is that right? No, we're doing the uh, eight and nine, right? Can I just write eight and nine now? And just give you one of the products. And you got the red. You got an S stereo center here. That didn't change. And I'm just copying everything except for the pie. Yeah, tricky little question. And you do remember that you get sin addition, correct? So if I draw one of the OHs up there on a wedge, you better draw the other OH up there on a wedge. Pick an adjacent bond for a dash. That would conveniently be this one, right? And conveniently, not so much, but there you go. And we've got the stereo center on the right being R, a left being R. And this one, double switch time. I told you, I'm not a big fan of this question because this takes even more time. And I got to do a double switch on it too. It's crazy. All of this to figure out stereo chemistry. Four switched with three, right? Two switch with one. That's R. S R R from the left. One, two, three, four, five R, six R. Oh, we're only looking for five and six. Good. Is R R one of the answers? I hope. Yeah, but there's one thing I'm forgetting. This is only half the products. What's the other half? Dash, dash. Guys, enant. Can you just write enant? What's the enantiomer of R, R is S and S? So 50, 50, 1 and 4. There you go. Products Y and Z. Y and Z are critically important. Because they take a terminal alkyne, Y is the mercury one, and Z is the boron one. Remember that, because my computer is just you know, taking a little holiday, take a little trip. Still, OK, fine. You got this. I believe that's it. Oh, we don't have it. We have it on the previous page, right? Product one. Product one, right? One, two, three, four, five after the alkyne. One, two, three, four. Ooh. Ooh. A lot of checks. Uh, five was the, sorry, Y was the mercury. And the other one was the B. It's just short forms. So after you've done hydrobor uh, oxymercuration protonolysis, 
you get this. And everything else the same. Second carbon, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. And this one, carbonyl on the end with a boron. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. And one's a ketone. With a methyl on six and the ketone on two of hept. Uh, we're looking for Y, I hope. And you like one of the answers for that? That one, right? Yeah. And aldehyde for the last one. Six, seven in a row. With a methyl on the six, seven row methyl on six. Oh, and it's a V on the end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight total. It's an iso octanal, if you want. That's not an option. Uh, five methyl heptanal. That's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six methyl. Just rambling here, sorry. AC. The last two are excellent questions. <laughs> okay. And I believe that's it for that. We're going to come back and I'll do a little more multiple choice from the same test. 